five. Many Molokai residents were rattled last night when the National Weather Service issued a tornado warning. Our Drew Davis is here to break down what really means, what it really means, and what you should know if it happens again. A tornado warning was issued at 7.15 p.m. on the western parts of Molokai on Monday evening, and we've had a lot of viewers calling in asking what exactly happened. There's been reports of it being radar indicated. Does that mean there's an actual tornado? And I want to talk about it just a little bit. One main difference between the mainland U.S. and us here in Hawaii is the amount of volunteer weather spotters that we have. We typically see in the mainland U.S. lots of people, weather enthusiasts that have been trained by the National Weather Service to spot tornadoes, spot downpours, spot downbursts, and they report those into the National Weather Service office. However, here in Hawaii, that's not the case. So we didn't have visual confirmation of the tornado, but we did have radar indication of the circulation in the atmosphere because of the ability to detect a wind speed and wind direction on the radar. So the National Weather Service saw that circulation and thought that storm could produce a tornado over the western parts of Molokai, but it wasn't visually confirmed. And we likely won't know more until the National Weather Service sends out a damage survey for the island to see if there's any actual damage indicators over in that area. As we're going forward throughout the rest of this week, it's going to continue being wet. There is another cold front that's going to arrive by the time we get to Thursday. It looks to be much weaker than the one that we saw yesterday and throughout today. Stick with your first alert weather team and reporting in studio for Hawaii News Now, Drew Davis.